doorway, kind of leaning up against the door, and you could you, you could see past them, but there were probably about six gentlemen in there, a couple females. They were all sparring with one another. That's where the noises were coming from, so. Who is the owner of this establishment? Uh, there's no owner of Loudwater, but, the Lo but Loudwater is run by Lady Moonfire. And where can we find her at? Probably at her manor house. Where? I'm or maybe one of the pubs. She likes to hang out and f frequent with the patrons of the pubs as well. I'm going to ask the captain, the group that he arrested re most recently for <clears throat> stealing horses, did they have a camp in the area, or where were, where were they based at? Well, we don't know where they actually have a base, but we do know that there is a shadow crime organization, but we just have not infiltrated it yet. But the last the last horse thieves that we've actually caught red-handed uh, was some months ago. And then he asks you, how long ago did you lose your horse? Yes, approximately that within that two months. Yeah, it was well before two months, so I I can't help you out there, my friend. And he goes, oh, "If you're gonna, if you're pardon me, I have to I have to get back to holding up this wall." And he walks back in and leans up against the wall. <laughs> uh, Bye, Colonel. <laughs> uh, Tomaduke will take a step and sort of hold the door open with the end of his spear and just peek in to actually see if people are sparring or killing each other. No, they're not killing each other, but you can actually see as you're leaning your head down to this seven-foot door, as you're peering in, people just look at you like, holy crap, who is this guy? And then they all kind of have their weapons drawn and they all turn towards you. They, they don't know what to, you know, they don't know what to expect of this. I will do a small little wave. I, I, this is a small little follows. wave. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna like peek my head. Hi guys. Okay, so so they are not uh uh they aren't bandits trying to take over the guard post, which is what I'm trying to figure out. No, the the bandits no the, the he tells you that well well that's that's amazing. The mute talked. No, I'm asking you this, David. Oh, about this the, is what I'm trying to figure out. Well the ban well he told you what he could. They don't have the they know that there is a shadow crime organization, uh, run by the Lady of Shadows is what she calls herself. And, you know, they have been caught from time to time stealing horses, not only through but from Loudwater, but the other surrounding villages as well, like Sacomber and Lork and, you know, uh, you know, the other small towns. Uh, what I'm trying to do is, I'm not trying to talk to the captain, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to explain to you, as a DM, what mm -hmm. I am trying to do. Okay, and you and said you poked your head into the, the place, they all turned towards you tor with their weapons drawn, and you kind of waved at them. That's what I heard. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm, trying, <laughs> to dig and I'm trying to figure out if they are bandits trying to kill they the are, guardsmen to take over. They are not bandits. <laughs> they are they are guardsmen that are sparring with one another. Then I will They are all uniformly dressed. Well, that doesn't mean they're not bandits. Well, but never mind. <laughs> I, I will take the hint, David. I'll back off. <laughs> well, let's see the you know, the actual captain introduces himself as Captain Harleaf and he's watching them spar. No, that's no problem. I, I see where you're going with it, though. <laughs> But no, they're they're not villains or anything like that. Okay. Well, thank you for your time, Captain Harleaf. Here's your silver, sir. Ah, uh, I, I want to grab it out of the air. Uh, he uh -huh. throws it at him. If, <laughs> maybe you could, maybe you can find that pesky Zark. He might be in with those dastardly shadows. Who is? And where Zark? might we find this Zark? Uh, he's a drunk. He usually hangs out in one of the one of the inns. What what <clears throat> inn? 
just any of them. He he doesn't have a. In what you should have asked. Uh, just you just have to <laughs> search around. <laughs> okay. In what? Yeah, you'll you'll just have to search around for him. He just hangs out in the ends, and usually he's he's up to no good as well. So supposedly he's got family within the within the town, but uh, the captain can't help you out with that. He really doesn't. He doesn't know who the family members are. <coughs> Let's go right, find this guy. Off, then. Bye, Colonel. <laughs> Colonel. Colonel. That's Captain. God damn it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Corporal. <laughs> you said you wanted hey, uh, 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 to. Want to nudge your buddy there? Tell him to come on. Who, buddy? The big guy. Oh, come on, bird. Let's go. <clears throat> you said you wanted to go uh, find a dagger. Would you like to head down to Stara's Knives? Uh, no. Let's go find this other guy. So off to the inns. Which inn would you like to go to? The Green Tankard Inn or the Fisher's Friend Pub? It's actually still it's still quite early, so there's there's prob they're probably not even open. That looks dangerous. They don't like me there. <laughs> actually, uh, I'm just gonna flat out tell you, you know, you, you've you've actually traveled to to both ends, and they're open for you know for renting out rooms and whatnot. But no, they're the the pub is not open. They're not serving alcohol, so he he's nowhere to be found. Okay, we'll find the lady. I, I want to sit there. Um, I want to find a like a big rock to sit on and just rock around, like rock back and forth, and say, "We need to find a lady. We need to find a lady. <laughs> <laughs> we need to find the lady that runs this oh town. Gosh. Maybe we can get some work, pick up some money." <clears throat> Tamanuk and Boom will dance around. Uh, when he does this rocking. as you're rocking oh my gosh people are just stopping looking at you like oh my gosh are these guys gypsies and then you, you hear one of them yell, we don't want gypsies in this damn town I'm not from Egypt <laughs> <laughs> where's Egypt never heard of that uh, me neither what <laughs> uh -huh. As soon Find as, a uh, lady. <laughs> as soon as the dragonborn starts to walk, uh, Tamanuk will stop dancing and follow him. I follow the bird. Come, friend bird. Let's find a lady. And they skip across the town. Holding hands. <laughs> holding hands in hand. Oh, jeez. So are we headed to the manor uh, house? Yeah, you get to the manor house. You knock on the door. One of her, one of her servants answers the the door. Uh, who knocked? Wait, who knocked on the door? I, uh, I just assumed one of you knocked on the door. Uh, well, well, then wh whoever knocks on the door, I want to. After he's done, I want to go up there and knock on the door too. Knock, knock, knock. Do you mind? I've already done that. Mind what? what? I will tap the door with my spear, knocking it. The door is answered. <laughs> One of the... <laughs> <laughs> she opens the door and she, she's kind of taken back a little bit. She's... She doesn't know what to expect. Seems like you're I, starting to draw a lot of attention to yourself there, Mr. Goliath. <laughs> it looked like fun. <clears throat> So she yes, says, uh, yes, yes, are... uh, can I help you? We're not giving yeah. food out at the moment. You're... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she doesn't say I that. I want to reach into my pocket. I have food. <laughs> Pull out on my rations. <clears throat> and then I want to, like, give it to her. Here's a ration. You want food. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ask her about the Lady Moonfire, or...? I suppose that's for sure. Yeah, we we want to see. We want. We look for lady. 
And she, like, she says the lady of the house is not in at the moment. Where'd lady go? She is adventuring right now. She has taken interest in the forest. 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 I was yes. forest one time. Probably the high forest. She said that she likes to. She likes to uh, check the lore of the rooms and and also excavate it and study all of the the runes and the the old elvish runes because Lady Moonfire is an elf herself. So she's just trying to gain knowledge of the past civilizations. Okay, I would like to leave a, a note with my name on it and tell her that where we would be. And when she returns, please have her contact us as soon as possible. And where are you? St are you staying at one of our great inns here in town? Yes, the green one. Which one is that? One? The Green Tankard Inn. Green Tankard Inn. Yes. Okay. She says that she will send a messenger your way when the lady gets back. See, seeing him hand him, hand her something, he picks up a rock and hands her. The hands of rock to the lady. Now it's go. not because it, it'll scale up anyway. You're right, nerds. You're right. It, it's it's not good at first level, but it gets better. <laughs> All right, guys. It seems Every like two the levels. Lady in the house was not home, so let us go <clears> back and have us a, a drink at the Green Tankard Inn, shall we? Well, seeing that you guys just came from there, looking for uh, you know uh, the gentleman that you were informed to search for, uh, they were not serving alcohol. So that is why uh, that is why he was not found. And she was not found either, so... She's out in the forest. I, I will point to the tip of my spear, holding it as if uh, it had a short handle, and just sh showing it to, to everyone. Just pointing at the chop chop end. I <laughs> pull out a dagger and say, I have one too. I will point to that and jump up and down. Let us go to the Loudwater General Store. Damn it. <laughs> Are you hungry? There's a singing, uh, a hanging sign that shows that this uh, large building is the Loudwater, Loudwater General Store. From other signs on the storefront, the place appears to carry everyday goods necessary to those living on the frontiers and the fellow adventurers of the area. What is... Uh, I want to look around, go off into like this... Yeah, and far, far end away from the door. You're greeted a by a, a lady named Kala Marin. She introduces herself and her stock boy, Romander, is also working in there as well. And they asked you, lady. she asks you if uh, she can help you find anything. Yes, uh, first off, we're waiting for the lady of the manor. Uh, to show back up. Oh, but at this, this time, we are in need of dried food goods. <laughs> dried food goods? Specifically, the uh, beef jerky, madam. <laughs> are you trying to snap into a Slim Jim? Snap into the Slim Jim. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> if you need rations, they have rations. Basically, the way it works in, in the, the Loudwater General Store is anything that is under 30 gold, she has. So, But she also tells you that if there's anything special that you need, that she can get it, but it would take a few days, and she, it would have to come from either Baldur's Gate or Waterdeep. Uh, at, hearing Waterdeep at hearing <clears throat> Waterdeep, I snap my head back and look at her with that kind of a and more knowledge than he can let on or that he would seem to have and then uh, yeah <laughs> yes is there any possible way that you can send a 
a messenger to the water deep, uh, to the churches or to the temples, and maybe procuring some uh, of the potions of healing. She has those here. She's got several of them. So this is they're fifty gold apiece. I'm going to um, turn to the paladin and say, "Why don't you just check at the temple here?" Yes, this seems to be rather expensive. Is there anything that you can barter with? That I would you like might be interested I, in. I would um I would like to get a better view of this room to see how things are laid out if they're just like sitting around like a shelf like a store. It's a very like very a organized store. store and it's quite busy in there for this time of the day. I would like to uh where in what location from the lady as the potions? Oh, they're in a gla like a a glass and uh, iron counter behind the counter. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Those are some of the the finer goods that she has. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, I would like to wander aimlessly throughout <laughs> throughout the rest of this. Uh, that's just uh, good. there's a good assortment. Twice. Like I said, anything that you want, thirty gold or less, it's it's there. So I, I would like to at least have a pound of your dried beef ration. How much would that be? <laughs> That'll be one gold. One gold. That's outrageous. As you're just then, you don't have to buy it, sir. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> go to the go to the other general goods stores here in town. We'll see what they sell you. Of course, there's no other general goods towns in, in Loudwater, so I guess you're kind of shit out of luck. <laughs> <laughs> I, w I, I assume he's getting angry. He should uh, want to leave. Get him some beef jerky. There uh, you go. One gold. Okay. I would like to roll another thief check. Well, you have to tell me what you're doing first. Okay. Um, wandering, trying to blend in with the rest of the crowd, uh, I would like to grab, uh, say, ration or something like that. I don't know what set up. That's kind of what I was asking earlier. You're just, you're just itching to get caught stealing something, aren't you? Well, I'm good at it, so that's my job. I'm a thief. You're good at getting caught stealing stuff. <laughs> I'm still alive, and I don't have any brands on me, so I must be halfway decent at least. Just don't be stealing no grapes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was going to be like a random thing. I don't know. I still want to roll it anyway. So I, I, I want to go after one of these potions. It's gonna be there's gonna be some pretty hefty penalties on that because, it, like I said, it's in a a glass case and uh, it's probably locked. Hey, uh, big guy, where's your friend going? Let's move along here. Let's grab your friend. Tell him to come along. I will poke uh, Ancien in the back with the back of my spear. I'll, I'll turn around and, and be like, what? I wasn't so, doing anything. <laughs> and I motion to the door. It's like poking a bear in a cage, man. You just like poking shit with that spear, don't you? Ugh. Oh, oh, you can't say anything. You're just groaning. Oh, <laughs> oh. Exactly. All right, so I'm going to get in front of the big guy. And on the way out, is there anything on the wall? That I could attempt. Sure, to there's lots of uh, like spools of rope. And David, I, the, pe <clears throat> the penguin is in the store with us, so we take up quite a lot of space. Correct, and and there's some shit getting knocked over on the shelves, and that's why she's just following <laughs> right behind you, putting stuff right back on, onto the shelf. Uh, all right, I'll 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 throw a check on this rope then. <laughs> the silken rope, if there's silken rope. It is. Preferably. It's so uh, it's silken rope. Seventeen. You're able to get it. Nice. I'm assuming this is a fifty foot 
section it's of rope. A, it's a 50 foot section of rope, correct? Yes, sir. We'll put it in. Alright, so you guys are back outside of the Loudwater General <clears throat> stealing the poor lady blind. And the paladin seeing this! He hey, left so already. I was right out the door, yeah. I told him, come on. Just make, sure, right just make sure you do that stuff when the paladin isn't around. Because <laughs> uh, the paladin will be seeking justice. I would like <laughs> I would like to uh, hand it hand that silken rope to the paladin and say, Jerky? Now where'd you get this? Did you have any money? Uh yes. Did you have coin? I would like to bluff and say yes I did. Did you pay for that that young lady? Sure. I did. It was Would you uh, give her rocks again? I gave her monies. You gave her some rocks, didn't you? All right. Uh, I want you guys no. to do two rules. I want you to do a, I want you to do a, a, a charisma check, uh, bluffing or whatever it is, and I want uh, that is for you, uh, Venom and Heavy. I want you to do a perception check. I crit. <laughs> nice. Ooh, I crit. <laughs> Wow, you're uh, it's close. At first, you're like, man, I don't believe him, but he actually convinces you, Batista, that that he actually purchased it. He convinced you over time. It took him a few minutes, but he convinced you. All right, we're off to the Silver Starry Knives. All right. So as you guys are making your way down the the road the western road of the town that is actually heading south uh, you start to hear a lot of commotion and as you're walking down the road itself you see the the outer wall of the actual town of Loudwater explode just literally explode and all of a sudden you start seeing goblins run into the town and now people are just, it's just mass chaos. A lot of people are running around. Uh, they're saying, get the guards, call the guards. Uh, and I'm going to put you on the, the first battle map of the night. Nice. I would like, I would like to. Wow, big boom. And as I tip my beer down to chug it to get another can, third one up. You, you can put Cheers. this. You can put the uh, the map on about seventy percent. That would about be about be about good for you. So uh, as you can see, the the wall has been damaged, and you see many goblins. David, boom! Me, he's too small. <laughs> <laughs> I I demand a bigger boom. Boom is just the right size right now. <laughs> okay. And as, as as you can see, there's lots of town folk. Uh, there's actually several dead townsfolk already. As you're making your way down towards the uh, this small courtyard area, which has several merchant carts, uh, there's also a large well, and you see a lot of goblins just charging in. Uh, there's at least there there's at least ten. Looks like to be about a dozen of them. And let's go ahead and roll initiative. I I, I fixed y'all's initiative macros so you can roll initiative uh, just hit the uh, the button and it'll roll it for you automatically and it'll put it in the tracker as well so 24 uh, since my initiative roll was very bad uh, I'm just gonna run very quickly to my fridge I'll be back in just a few seconds nice roll and I'm going to do a roll as well real quick and I'm just looking for the uh, for the modifier real quick alright fellas so it looks like we got some company I actually have a 22 so I am going I to put like the goblins. they're short and they smell bad they definitely do smell bad all right, so Al, you have 
first attack and this is our this is our first uh combat in 4.0 so i'm looking forward to it um i'm assuming that since there's no squares we're just going to go yep. one square oh yes yeah. uh, five yep. feet exactly yep i don't i don't do any squares i don't i don't like squares it ruins the look of your map my opinion okay <clears throat> but the the footage uh, is correct so can i tell which one of these possibly could be the leader or not it? not yet because there's still quite a bit of smoke around and the smoke hasn't settled yet so you really can't tell a distinct leader or anything like that yet All as right. there's still townsfolk uh, running away and uh, screaming for help and uh, oh my god <laughs> there's goblins <laughs> uh, uh, when determining the range, how many feet is one square? Five. Um, yep, five. Okay, good. Thank you. Yep. Well, I would like to move here, which I believe is in my range. Okay. And, uh, well, now, okay. Uh, would like to, uh, can I, how does it work? Ready in action? I will, in, if when this guy moves up, I want to be able to attack. Well, you've him got you've got him. this guy right in front of you. Oh, I mean, this guy's in do, front of me. Yeah, do, well, okay. yeah, this I, guy's right. directly in front of you. I thought he was dead. No, Laying this guy's ground, dead. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, I will. Uh, I guess I will uh, pull out my dagger and okay. attack this guy with uh, my dagger and my short sword in my hand. Is that all right? Go to use any right. any powers or or anything like that. You're just going to do a a normal at will attack, I guess. <clears throat> uh, I have as a class feature at the start of an encounter. If you have combat advantage against any creature that has not yet acted in that encounter. Yeah, he helped uh, kill the person that's lying dead right in front of him. But I mean, he doesn't act. I mean, he's he hasn't engaged anybody in the party, so uh, I would say just go ahead and just go ahead and attack him because he has already had action. So, uh, well, that's a... okay. So I will do a at will sky flourish, okay. and I'm you know, going to be hitting with my dagger, so it's a light blade, and it's dexterity versus armor class. Okay. This is our first combat, guys. That is a I horrible 12. miss. Well, if he that goblin didn't even see you there, but all of a sudden he, you know, he heard you miss rather badly, and and you uh, actually bumped up against him, and he turned, and now he is uh, he is turning to to face you actually. All right. So, do you want to do any other miners or anything? I think yeah, you already had your miner because you did you did movement. So, yeah, um, right. movement action. <clears throat> a miner is to pull out my short sword yeah. and daggers. So, yeah. Gotcha. All right. So, Shamash, you're up now. Hopefully, you'll roll better than a five. And there's a dozen uh, goblins around you too. There's a couple beefy looking goblins that are taller than the rest of them. Actually, quite big. They almost look like orcs. The ones in the back with large shields, mm -hmm. the redder ones? Correct. Just a couple of them are larger than the others. Well, I'm still the largest. No, I'm not. Boom, is bigger yeah, than me, actually. Definitely. <laughs> Alright, Shamash, what are you doing? <clears throat> Shamash is moving... Hey guys, sorry I'm not able to uh, keep chatting with the the stream. on, but I my that? secondary laptop is locked up. Uh, I can't change the password on my my whatever it is with on my laptop that clean. I usually watch the stream. So, all right. Just remember when you guys also when you guys do your initiative, just make sure you always keep your your token targeted. So. All right. 11 versus wow. AC. That's a pretty bad roll as well. And you miss also. It's a really bad roll. 
Yeah, it was. All right. So now all these goblins get to attack now. All right, this we're just going to go right 